Okay, time for another mystery box. This time it's a uh, this mystery box, which advertises that it only comes with two booster packs and a mini portfolio. So I don't. If that mini portfolio is sealed, then it's actually three booster packs. Um, I'm guessing this one's like the other ones where there's no vintage chase pack. It's probably like Shining Fates is what they consider a chase pack. Uh, yeah, Shining Fates, but. I dig these mystery boxes, I like them, and obviously again, it's uh, made by a third party, it's not actual Pokemon. The packs inside are manufactured and made by actual Pokemon, but this product is MJ Holding, I believe. Um, but yeah, you can, you can read that for yourself. We're using the Snorlax pin again, and we're gonna try, we're gonna try this out. Alright, let's see. More tough plastic here. If you're tuning in and you like uh, these mystery boxes and stuff, then go ahead and give that, give my video a like. It helps me out a lot. You wouldn't mind doing that for your boy? Uh, dive right into it. Okay, uh, so they open from the sides. First thing, okay, I feel sleeves. So. We got Gengar sleeves this time. Perfect. We didn't get these. Out of all the mystery boxes we opened, we haven't gotten Gengar sleeves. I like them because they're clear. So we'll move that off to the side. Probably use that if there's any hits. Okay, so it said two packs. So first pack we got Astral Radiance. Lost Origin. Ooh, love Lost Origin. We got... Okay, the mini portfolio, and like I said, another pack, so two Astral Radiance, one Lost Origin, and there's nothing else inside there. Empty. So we're gonna throw that away, and we're gonna get to cracking. Let's do this. So let's start off, we'll, we'll, we'll save Lost Origin for last, so we'll, we'll do this mini portfolio first. Um, at the bottom there, there's this, so this is the easier way to open them. I used to just bite it and rip it. Uh, but you could potentially hurt yourself there. Um, these also come with whatever this is. Okay, and we're more interested in the pack. And I, I definitely don't recommend using this because this doesn't look like it's safe. But you know, for chill, it, I don't think this protects your cards very well. But for children, you know, it's a. Uh, that might be a cool thing they like. So three packs yet again. And this is all Sword and Shield era, which, you know, I'm kind of digging because like, Silver Tempest, you can probably find the more common. Astral Radiance, uh, I don't know if people super love Astral Radiance or what, but uh, I'm just gonna go out on a limb here and say that most Sword and Shield stuff are harder to find. But I'm pretty sure you can still find Silver Tempest. Probably Astral Radiance, Lost Origin, but people usually charge more for those if you're buying them on secondary market. Or you can check the Pokemon Center or whoever you know with a website. But we're gonna see what we get. Uh, Astral Radiance hasn't, I've, I don't think I've pulled an alt art from Astral Radiance yet, so it's kind of cool that we're opening this. I didn't buy too much Astral Radiance. Um, the Machamp looks really cool. We'll see. Okay, we got a hit at least. It's a Starmie. Nice. And we'll put the rest of those things over here. Pack number two for Astral Radiance. Can we get something cool? Can we get something cool? Because I've noticed that with these mystery boxes, you want a chase pack, but the chase pack there is Shining Fates. And Shining Fates is like, man, that set got massively overprinted. I remember uh, a few months back, I was still able to go out like to GameStop and see a bunch of uh, Shining Face. A few months, like maybe like three, four, maybe in five months, uh, I was able to find all that. Now I don't see them as much, but I'm, I'm sure you can still find Shining Face somewhere, right? Um, but I, like Sword and Shield sets that I was referring to is more like, you, it's hard to find Champion's Path for a decent price because secondary market hypes them up um 
What else? Sword and Shield base is still lingering around somewhere. Ooh, ooh, no, no, no. There's a lot of controversy right now in the Pokemon space around this Pokemon. This is not something you want to see right now. I'm sorry for any people whose favorite is Typhlosion, but yeah, you definitely don't want to see Typhlosion these days with all the accusations. You know, Typhlosion probably got to defend himself. <laughs> if you don't know, it's probably best that you, you don't know. Just stay, stay out of that loop. <laughs> I promise you, it's not. You don't want to hear about that type of stuff. But let's see if Lost Origin can deliver. Um, haven't pulled any uh, Aerodactyl or Giratina ults, so there's that. All right, come on. Let's see. Let's see. Make this mystery box worth it. I would love that Aerodactyl. That Giratina is beautiful too, but I think. Uh, if I'm being selfish, I want the Giratina. But if I'm not allowed to be selfish with it, then uh, Aerodactyl is cool too. Come on. Whoop! Nothing. Nothing. Well, there you have it. If you want to see more mystery boxes get open, definitely subscribe to the channel. And if you enjoyed watching me pull these two cards, I guess hit the like button and tune into my other videos where I did get a chase back. Uh, that'll be in the link below or you can watch it in whichever one of these sides it is it's on and there's other other ones where i didn't get the chase packs but we got some bangers the they're in a playlist on my homepage. so tune in peace